A healthy crop is the key for the well-being of the farmer and the sound economic growth of the country. It is said, as you sow, so you reap. Yes, it's true. Healthy seedlings produce a good crop of high quality. Nowadays, high yielding F1 hybrids of vegetables are popular among farmers. In recent years, progressive farmers have taken up vegetable seedling production in trays as specialized economic activity. Traditionally, seedlings were produced by the farmers in their own fields in open nurseries. Many times resulting in poor germination, seedling mortality due to excess sunlight, rain, pests and diseases, uneven growth of seedlings due to competition, damage to the roots while pulling out from the bed for transplanting. Yes, our farmers are now realizing the benefits of tray-grown seedlings. A seedling needs as much care and nourishment as a child. A protected and congenial enclosure is necessary to grow healthy seedlings. The seedlings of high-yielding vegetable hybrids of tomato, capsicum, cabbage, cauliflower and chili are now being widely grown in trays in poly or net houses in commercial farming. These plastic trays, which are specially made for growing seedlings, are filled with cocoa peat. Cocoa peat, the most popular medium being used by many farmers. About 100 kg cocoa peat is required to fill 100 trays. Dents of about 5 mm deep are made in each compartment after filling the trays with cocoa peat. One seed is sown in each cell and covered with cocoa peat again. One person can sow about 200 trays. That's about 20,000 seeds in a day. Indian Institute of Horticultural Research in Bangalore has developed a machine for mechanization of filling and sowing operations in seedling trays. After sowing, eight to 10 trays are stacked and covered with a plastic sheet to create warmth and maintain humidity that helps in proper germination of seeds. Most of the vegetables take three to five days to sprout. Soon after germination, these trays are shifted to a poly or net house and are placed side by side on a plastic sheet spread on the nursery beds. This prevents the roots of the seedlings from penetrating into the soil. These trays are watered with rose can jelly to maintain optimum moisture that is neither too wet nor too dry. Seedlings are provided with nutrients in liquid form. Also, fungicides and pesticides are sprayed on a neat basis. These seedlings grow strong and healthy day by day and are ready in about four to six weeks for planting in an open field or in a greenhouse. For transplanting, seedlings of tomato take about 25 days, while that of capsicum takes 35 to 40 days. Now, 
Let us observe the trays meant for seedling production. These trays are known as pro trays, flat trays or plug trays. Seedlings of tomato, capsicum, cabbage and cauliflower are grown in trays with 98 cells. These trays are made up of polypropylene and can be reused up to five to six times. Before using, every time the trays are thoroughly washed and disinfected with a fungicide. The holes at the bottom of the cells regulate the moisture properly. Equally spaced cells facilitates uniform growth of all the seedlings. As mentioned earlier, cocoa peat is the most commonly used medium to grow vegetable seedlings. Cocoa peat provides proper anchorage to the seedlings and also holds moisture for longer time. Cocoa peat is available in 25 kg bags in the market in ready-to-use condition.